God wants you to judge? Jesus says yes. In Acts chapter 26, beginning in verse 21, Paul is giving an account to King Agrippa, his daughter Bernice, about why Jews keep seeking to seize him. Riots break out around him. People want to murder him. It's because of verse 20. He says, I keep telling people, turn to God. Repent. Keep with deeds, keeping with repentance. In other words, you're to do what you're rooted in. My daddy used to say, we're not root inspectors, we're fruit inspectors. If you're rooted in Jesus, you bear the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience. If you're not, you're an actor. That's the root word for a hypocrite. Now, many people, when they hear this, go to Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. But doesn't Jesus say, Pastor Dan, judge not, lest you be judged? You should read to chapter 7, verse 5. It's there Jesus is using hyperbole. Take the telephone pole size plank out of your eye before you try to take the speck out of your brothers. In other words, judge you according to the truth of God's word before you seek to judge your brother. But what do you do? You are taking the speck out of your brother's eye. When you do it, however, it will be God's way, 1 Corinthians 13 way, it will be out of love, even if the person doesn't receive it well. Jesus in chapter seven, verse 20 says, you'll know them by their fruits. Evidently, judgment matters if fruitfulness and effectiveness rooted in Christ is to be seen. Jesus in 715 says, wolves are gonna come. False teachers, false prophets, they're going to come like wolves in sheep's clothing. What do you do with wolves? You shoot them. That's why Paul gives the account he gives in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, Titus chapter 3, and Jesus speaks of Matthew chapter 18. In Acts chapter 20, Paul will say, these false teachers are going to come from your own midst. Over and over, God wants his people to know his truth because it's the truth that discerns rightly. It's the truth that sets you free truly. Jesus is saying you're to judge, but make sure when you do, it's through my word. It's rooted specifically in me. When that happens, even the outcropping of how you go about handling it will be truthful because it will be loving. It will deal specifically with what needs to be judged. What you need to know about the Apostle Paul is he's saying even to King Agrippa, even to Bernice, you need, if you come to Christ, to continue with deeds that follow with repentance. In other words, your fruit will follow your faith.